Hey, how are you? So today we are going to do a quick hit workout. Uh, you need a band or a pair of dumbbells. Same exercise can be done with either or, all right? And maybe a mat if you have like a hard surface that you're working on. If you're on a carpet, that's fine, no worries. All right, so we're gonna start off with warming up. So just give me the heels, toes up. Three, two, push it back, here we go. All right, so you wanna push that heel towards the floor just to get that calf warmed up because our hit class today is put into four sections. The first section is cardio, so you might feel a little bit tense in those uh, calves, all right? Second section is gonna be lower body, I'm just checking my notes here. Third section is gonna be upper body, and then the third, fourth section is gonna be core. Good, bring the heels in front again. That's it. Toes up to the ceiling. Ba -la 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 -la. I might sing. I don't know if this music is gonna match. Doesn't matter, keep going. So I have music on in the background just to keep me moving, since I'm doing the workout with you. You can put on whatever you want, sorry. Okay, circle or twist that ankle. Good. Other side, let's go. Sit. So I'm kind of like sitting into this opposite hip here, just getting the glutes warm as well as mobilizing the hip joint, okay? Let's curl the legs, curl. That's it. Pull those elbows back, squeeze your shoulders together. Bring the knees up. Hands up over the head where you can. Don't worry too much about the hands if you find your coordination isn't there. Do what you can, because when you bring those hands up over your head, you're elevating your heart rate. Good, hula hoop those hips. So, in hit, we wanna be working like at our max capacity, like a nine out of 10 intensity level, all right? So it's very important that we do warm up and we gradually increase the heart rate to get to that point where we're going to work very fast, very intense in a short space of time. Change direction, if you haven't noticed me do that already. Okay. So don't skip your warm up. And you can also use like the first 20 seconds of the workout to further intensify your warm up, all right? Shoulders. Big, big, big circles. Feel that stretch across the chest as well. Keep going. Fabulous. Some torso twists. So I want you to rotate, keeping your hips facing forward. Feel a little stretch in your waist. Warming up the spine. Feel a little pull in your abs. Your abs should be working already. Now, common mistake is people do this. Now, keep them hips fixed, yeah? Okay, bring them elbows up, height to your shoulders, pull them back and squeeze. So you wanna squeeze your shoulder blades together. Now, push up and then pull down and lead with the elbows. Again, squeezing the shoulders. We're gonna do this exercise later on with a band or dumbbells. So push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, yeah? When you're pulling, you should feel all the, the, the muscles in your back and your shoulders warm up there. Good. Okay, let's swing the arm down and back. Other side. Looking back at those fingertips, opening up the chest. Uh, 
That's it. Keep going. All right, a few squats. Just make sure those legs are warm. So heels down on the floor, sit your hips back. Make sure your knees aren't rolling out and make sure your knees aren't going in front of your toes. Have a look. If your knees are going in front of your toes, it's because you need to adjust your hip position. So imagine you're sitting back into, a back, into the back of a chair. That will help. Leg curls again. So just to stretch out those muscles that we just worked. Two more. Last one. Okay, right. Super. Now we are going to start off with our cardio section. So we've got four exercises. These are suggestions. You can do any sort of four exercises you want. You can do the same exercise eight times if you like. It doesn't matter. Make cardio work for you, yeah? Um, what I'm doing is just a suggestion. You want to be moving your feet fast. You want to be getting your hands up over your head. The goal is to get the heart rate up to a certain point where you find it difficult to talk, yeah? Talk test. Right, so our first exercise is gonna be high knees, like so. Second exercise is gonna be toe touch jacks. Up and down, up and down, yeah? Third exercise is gonna be scissor jumps. So you're gonna switch your feet forward and back like this. With an L, jab as well. And then the fourth exercise is fast feet on the spot. All right, so imagine that you're standing on hot, hot cools. Cults, right? 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We're doing this twice through. Boom, done, rest, water, next part. Yep, okay, ready? We are going in eight seconds. We're high knees first, four, Three, two, one. Get them knees up. Now me currently, I'm working roughly six or seven out of 10. I want to make that even hit again. I go faster, higher. Three, two, one. Okay, next one is toe touch jacks. Whew. I shouldn't be able to talk when I'm doing hip properly, remember? Now I'm teaching you the class. Three, two, one. So jack it out, down we go. Touch your toes all the way, okay? Hit the floor as many as you can. Make it nice and explosive. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, scissor jumps. Whew, already out of breath. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So switch your feet forward and back. Hit. Ten more seconds. No, hit. That's how fast you really want to be going, aiming for. Three, two, one. Whew. Fast feet on the spot. I picked a lovely spot to be dancing on. Three, two, one, go. If you want to move those feet as quick as you can, turn different directions if you want. Keep moving. Quick, 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 quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Back to the start. High knees, okay? High knees, push through. Your heart rate should be up. You should be like, ah. Three, two, one, go. Get them up, get them up, get them up. Quick as you can, go, go, go. Up, 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 up. Keep moving. As high as they go. Five, four, three, two, one, whoo. Toe touch jacks. You ready? You should be feeling uncomfortable now at this stage. Three, two, one. Keep breathing. Two, one. Scissor jumps. 
five, four, three, two, one, go. Quick as you can, go, 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 go. Keep moving, don't stop. Go, 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 go. Two, one, boom. Last one, fast feet on the spot. Ready. Woo. Three, two, one, go. How are you feeling? Answer me back. If you can talk, you're not working hard enough. Go, faster, faster. 10 seconds left. Woo. Three, two, one, boom. Now, I'm not even gonna cut out my breathing sounds. If you're finding it hard to gasp, that's it. It should be really uncomfortable. It should be not pleasant, but we do it for a short space of time because it's efficient when we do it properly. Okay. Oh, legs. In and out squat, rotate and lunge. I'm actually gonna move that mat out of the way, move it back. Okay. So, you're gonna squat down, out and in, out and in, okay? As many as you can. If the coordination isn't there, just stay down and pulse for the 20 seconds, okay? Rotate in lunge. So we're literally going from lunging from this side, turning to this side. All right, my feet stay exactly where they are. They start out pointing at the corners. Turn, both feet are pointing in the same direction. Lunge down, come back to the center. Rotate and turn to the other side. Rotate and lunges. Frog squats, lovely. Feet wide, hands down on the floor. Hips down and up. As so, keeping your heels down on the floor again. Don't let them knees come in. Look at your knees, okay? I can't see you. You look at your knees and you make sure you're doing this safely and effectively. And then we have forward reverse lunge on the one leg. So if I turn to the side, it might be a bit easier. I'm gonna use my, uh, my right leg. I'm gonna step forward and back on the same leg, yeah? Then we come around to do it the second time, we'll just change legs, okay? Right, that's it, let's go. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, <coughs> one. Down, out and in. Okay. Go out and in. Now come here, don't be doing this. Stop codding yourself, get low. That's my new phrase of the month, stop codding yourself. Three, two, one. Rotate and lunge, so stand with your feet nice and wide. Get ready to face that way. Get ready to face that way. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. Okay, we have frog squats. So stand wide. Here's why stand wide, because it's easier to put your hands on the floor. Three, two, one. So I want you to get those hips down towards the floor and up into the air. And I want you to do it as quick as possible here, yeah? I'm just demonstrating here. And I'm only going at like half my capacity, because again, I have to keep talking. Three, two, one. All right, forward reverse lunge. Let's face this direction. The leg that's closest to me, to the camera, you're gonna use that. Go. I'm gonna move back a little bit, just for positioning. So you'll feel it's the leg that's not moving that's gonna get a lot tireder, a lot quicker. Three, two, one. Right, halfway there. 
back to the start. Pull squats or in and out squats. Three, two, one, go. Now I'm expecting you to either match my speed, and if you're not out of breath, you're not finding it difficult, you need to go faster and you need to go more intense. Go lower, 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 lower. All right? Three, two, one. Alternating lunge. I'm gonna start my first lunge on this side. Three, two, one, go. I've played about six million times. I'm not actually doing hit. Okay? Three, two, one. Okay. Frog squats. Three, two, one, go. Juicy wiggle. Use your elbows to push those knees out, yeah? Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that's hard. Right, forward reverse lunge on the other side. Last time. So turn to face the other direction, use the leg that's closest to me. Three, two, one, let's go. Said I'm not doing hip, but it's still hurting. Three, two, one. Excellent stuff. How are the legs feeling? You should be surprised that they're still attached to your body. Okay. Right, quick drink. Upper body is next. Nearly there. We're officially halfway through the workout. Lovely. Okay, so our first exercise. Just check if that's still in range of this, yeah. Okay, first exercise. Push-ups, pull down, spice the shoulders, pull apart. Okay, first exercise, push-ups. I was looking at a different plan earlier on. Push-ups, lean forward. Down we go, yeah? Don't sit back like this. What are you doing? You're codding yourself. Don't cod yourself, lean forward. All right? Then we're gonna grab our bands. And just like we did in the warm-up, we're gonna stretch, we're gonna pull down and lead with the elbows, okay? There we go, okay? Now, if you have dumbbells, you can do the exact same thing. Next one after that is bicep curls to shoulder press. So you're gonna stand on one end of the band if you're using the band. If you're using dumbbells, do two arms at one time. Bicep curl, turn it up to a shoulder press. Back down, bicep curl, up, okay? And then we've got to pull apart. Again, you can do this with your dumbbells. You're gonna push your shoulders down towards the floor palms facing the ceiling, stretch and squeeze. Okay, stretch and squeeze. Four exercises, twice through, ready. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Push-ups, squeeze your bum, squeeze your core. And it's all about the shakes across the chest and feeling it in the back of the arms. Five more seconds. Two, one. Okay. Then we got pull downs. So you can do this standing or seated. I'm just being lazy. I'm going to stay down on the knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you're banned, if you're not getting a much uh, welly out of it, you can just fold it in half and um, that will increase the resistance. Stretch and squeeze, lead with the elbow, squeeze your shoulder blades together, three, two, one, okay. Bicep curl to shoulder press. Again, if you're doing this with dumbbells, use two at one time, why not? Three, two, one, curl it up, press it up over your head, back down to a curl. Keep that elbow in. Now what I don't want you to do is do this, like or something, keep it all, your whole body itself is still. It's only the arm that's moving, okay? Three, two, 
one okay pull apart so palms facing off to the ceiling push your, your shoulders down towards the floor you're going to stretch three two one go oh i can already feel that in my right arm after doing the bicep curls and shoulder press so it's okay if you can feel it in one arm and not the other you'll feel this in the back anyway three two one okay back to the start push-ups ready leaning forward three two one go the second round is going to be much harder especially when you feel that one arm being a lot more works than the other one do not worry we're coming back to the other one now in a minute three two one okay pull downs two one go a lot of people do this wrong they just they're, they're just moving their arms yeah you really got to think about about the muscle you want to work and you're working this muscle here yeah the muscle the muscle around your middle of your back your lats yeah three two one bicep curl to shoulder press other side stand on that band three two one curl and press that wasn't the same as the last one curl press That's it. now i'm curling i'm rotating back down yeah three two one and the last one of this section pull apart push your shoulders down to the floor going in three two one go there we go there's them arms balanced out now pull and squeeze five four three two one okay lovely how feeling right we've got our last section all different types of planks yay you can just do a straight plank if you like for the eight times through yeah we have a regular plank we've got a plank with a toe tap we've got plank jacks with a bit of cardio and planks with hip dips follow my lead you can do it right regular plank on the elbows going in eight seven six five four three two one okay so you need to modify your plank drop your knees i want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together and i do not want you to look at your feet i want you to look at your fingers the reason being is because we round our back when we're doing that and we bring our hips up squeeze your shoulder blades together it makes it harder 10 times harder three two one okay so plank toe taps you're going to come onto your wrists and you're going to come back and reach your toe and then come back to the start right three two one just gives it a bit of dynamic makes it a bit more interesting get your heart rate up this is really hard five four three two one okay plank jacks all right so you can jack out your two feet at the one time or tap your feet out elbows or wrists three two one so you can tap it out like so or do what a jumping jack is like right challenge yourself and go to your intensity level remember nine out of ten four three two one okay and then we have plank and a hip dip so we're going to go onto our elbows and we're going to just dip our hips side to side all right four three two one so just dip your hips side to side especially after doing that upper body workout my arms are on fire 10 seconds seven six five four three two one great 
Let's go back to the start. Regular plank. Oh my God. I don't even want to do this. We'll do it. I committed to this. So did you. Three, two, one. Go. Hold. Remember, you can drop your knees and still do a plank here. Yeah. Okay. Ten more seconds. Keep going. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Okay. We've got the plank and the toe taps. So we're going to reach back and touch our toes. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Keep going. Three, two, one. Right. Jacks, plank jacks. So jump your feet out or tap them out one at a time, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, go. We have a tendency for our hips to go up. So keep an eye on your hips. If you're finding your hips are traveling when you are jumping, good, reduce to the taps. Keep moving. Three, two, one, excellent. Oh, one more left. One more left. Let's do this. Plank with a hip dip. Go on your elbows. Three, two, one, go. Oh, 10 more seconds. You can do this. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, see your hands behind you. Oh, so push your chest out. Stretch that out there, yeah? Good job. I can't even put my arms up over my head. Oh. Triceps, get that triceps stretched out there. Chain sides. Okay, pull that shoulder across. Oh, lovely. Very nice. And the other one. Oh, excellent, excellent, right. Let's do our, uh, we'll do the core really quickly. So just pull up here, look up to the ceiling, point your tailbone up to the ceiling as well. Stick your toes underneath you, walk the hands back, hips up into the air. Drop your head, make sure your head is nice and heavy. Enjoy that stretch in the back of your legs and your lower back. Bend the knees, roll up with the head coming up last. Take your time, don't come up too quick. Don't wanna get a head rush. All right, step one leg forward, drop down the back leg, pull the hip forward. You'll feel a stretch here in your hip flexor and your thigh, the same as doing this one. If you prefer to do that instead, that is fine. How are you feeling now? I wonder if you can start talking to me now, yeah? Actually, that was great. That killed me, but I'm still alive. I actually didn't die. Challenge myself, push myself beyond that limit. It's all about that intensity level. That's why it's such a short, short class. We're sitting on a hamstring, by the way, okay? Let's turn, change in sides. Drop down, pull forward, yeah? Um, yeah, as I said at the start, it only works if you put in a high level of effort during that short period, yeah? You'll still move, yeah, fair enough, but you're not gonna get like, say, that, that uh, the metabolic effect afterwards. 
unless you really, really push yourself beyond that comfort zone to the point where you're like, why did I do this? Why did I sign up for this? I actually hate exercise. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. When you push yourself beyond that limit, you will know. Your muscles, you get lactic acid in your muscles. You're, you're finding really, really hard to breathe. Your heart rate's through the roof, yeah? Um, one more, just bring your hands in front of you and then just uh, pull here, yeah? So. Great stuff. Now, just give me a nice deep breath in through the nose just to finish off. Think about how much you, what you have accomplished today, how awesome you are, and how amazing your body is that can move in such a way. Excellent. And one more. Good stuff. Well done. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.